Mate, yeah, it's an identical glove. Do you agree that was that was in behind your seat, that car? Well, mate, no, I don't agree, because all I seen was in the officer's hand, mate, when they're pulling stuff out. I don't know where it come from. It is very rare to be allowed to see inside the workings of a huge drug operation like this. The actual moments when police pull off three simultaneous raids. I believe that substance be amphetamine, and uh, you're now under arrest for the possession of that uh, prohibited drug. Walsh must have known that the contents of that black glove would put him away for years. What he didn't know was this. Mr. Little, this is a search warrant for your premises. You're not going to rip it up on me or anything, are you? While Walsh was being searched, back at Tweed Heads, Todd Little's life was being turned over. Yeah, you won't be ringing anyone for a, for a little while, all right? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't let you make a phone call, all right? One phone call could have alerted the entire Nomad organisation. I'm serving the warrant on you right now, all right? By this stage, Todd Little knew that he would be facing up to 20 years jail. You are under arrest, I want you to understand that. You understand that, don't you? He refused to cooperate. His wife was also evasive. Have you seen this money before? No, <laughs> but I'm keen. And throughout the whole amazing search, their babies slept on. A pistol and silencer. Stashes of ammunition all over the house. A gun in the garage. Police were stunned by the hall. Gold, jewellery and cash. Cash in plastic bags, cash in brown paper bags. Over 100 grand. They also found specially prepared secret containers with wax plugs ready for burial. Little, the drug cook, had drug stashes in the backyard. He had a, a very good ability uh, in the manufacture uh, and the cooking of various uh, cooking processes of methamphetamine. As Walsh sat in the lockup, 400 kilometres away, his life as a husband, a nomad, and as a drug dealer was being laid bare. A search warrant has been executed here. Do you agree that? I explained that to you. I told you you're under arrest and I gave you a caution. Yeah. His home was being turned upside down. There was no doubt as to his position in the nomads. Walsh even had a mini clubhouse out the back. His wife watched as the police found guns everywhere. Do you know anything about that firearm? No. Even in her underwear drawer. Uh, are you wearing underwear now? Yes, I am. They also found drug scales and special plates for producing counterfeit Canadian and Greek money. See, their brain minds made up for three printing prints. They found car parts and they found snakes. They can stand the bags for the rest of the search here. And incredibly, police found Walsh's wife to be strangely cooperative. Could you comment on what that is likely to be? Could be dust. I don't know what it is. OK. Actually, yeah. Walsh uh, had a, a high substance abuse of methamphetamine himself. Uh, he would go into uh, rage, uh, he would, uh, acts of violence within the house. He would assault uh, his wife. He would uh, punch holes in the, in the walls. In what was a major breakthrough, Walsh's wife decided to talk. That'd be big Phil you're talking about there, I yeah, presume. That's correct. OK. That showed a lot of guts. Uh, not only would there be a fear factor, uh, retribution uh, from him, uh, but also from other members of the uh, Nomads Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. Uh, she would be a marked woman, uh, and would be a marked woman today. Walsh would take the high purity speed that Todd Little made and cut it seven or eight times for street distribution. This is the actual police tape of her explaining how she bagged up drugs for her husband to distribute. The quantities are truly staggering. Normally in one hit, I've made up like nine here. Normally in one hit, minimum of say about five pounds would be made up because it would go out instantly. So this is not an unusual amount. Richard Walsh had no prior uh, convictions uh, prior to being charged by Strike Force Sabred, yet was a person uh, who held a senior office with the Nomads uh, Outlaw Motorcycle Gang within the Newcastle chapter. Uh, he had a vast array of a, a criminal uh, network, and we would allege organised and sophisticated. Uh, and he was involved in the sale of literally hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of methamphetamine onto the street. 
from the period of uh, uh, time from the investigation went forward and when we charged uh, Walsh, uh, he was uh, charged with just under uh, manufacturing and supplying just under uh, half a tonne of methamphetamine. The operation that Ken Mackay and Wayne Gordon led involved 200 police, 30 search warrants, and they turned up an amazing array of evidence. The Todd Little raid led police to this huge armory of weapons. Hardly the sort of thing a social motorbike club would need. They're really now developing into uh, solely criminal groups, uh, and I think the bikey side of it is just a, a side issue nowadays. There was vast numbers of uh, long and uh, short uh, uh, long arms uh, being uh, located, uh, rifles, shotguns, uh, pistols, shortened firearms, uh, machine guns, um, hundreds and hundreds of rounds of, uh, of ammunition. Richard Walsh, the nomad bikey, turned out to have a very diversified criminal portfolio. To their surprise, police also found the nomads involved in another illegal activity. Uh, Walsh was also involved with uh, stealing and rebirthing heavy-duty uh, motor vehicles and he was also involved in stealing other uh, earth-moving equipment, uh, bobcats, uh, dog trailers. Uh, all of these types of equipment tried to uh, uh, be rebirthed and unsold uh, by Walsh and uh, Walsh's associates uh, within uh, the organised crime network that he was operating. Walsh did not inspire loyalty from those around him. I don't think he made too many friends, to be quite frank. I think uh, the way that he treated people, people that uh, actually gave evidence uh, against him at uh, various proceedings, uh, I was not surprised. Uh, I think there was a lot of get square with, with, with some of the issues uh, and the, the pain, the suffering that he had inflicted on others. The police operation won an international award. Strike Force Sabret succeeded in effectively dismantling the organised criminal network operated by the Nomads Abel Motorcycle Gang. Nomads, Walsh and Little, received record prison sentences. They were not alone. The outcome with, uh, with Sabret, I think uh, the, the results uh, speak for itself. There was uh, 54 people uh, charged. There was $56 million worth of uh, methamphetamine recovered uh, during the course of, uh, of this investigation. Up next on Gangs of Oz, Western Australian bikies ride a road of destruction and despair. They were in the process of just pulling onto the front verge when the power gel detonated. The tragic slaying of innocent bystanders. And a night on the town turns ugly.